RPE stands for Rapid Paddle Expander. Rapid because we're asking you to do one turn per day. Paddle because the two bones being expanded are the paddle bones which form the roof of the mouth and the floor of the nose. Expander because you will be expanding one quarter of a millimeter per day, so it will take four days to open one millimeter. Turning should be completed one time per day. It does not matter what time of day you complete your turn, and it does not matter if the turns are 12 or 24 hours apart. The important thing is that you complete the turn. I often suggest that you mark on the calendar when a turn is completed, so that you will know what days you have completed a turn and how many turns you have completed. If the doctor asks you to complete 14 turns and come back in two weeks, it's very important that you stop turning if for some reason you miss or cannot make your next appointment. Turns are completed as demonstrated. Wash your hands, have your child lie with his or her head on your lap. Be sure to wear your reading glasses if you need them and have very good light. Insert the key. The key is inserted into the hole in the appliance as far as it can go and then push to the back of the throat to spin the wheel. Once you have pushed the key to the back of the throat, check that you can see the next hole. If you cannot see the next hole, you have not pushed back far enough. If you can see the next hole, wiggle the key gently out of the mouth. You will then have completed one turn. When you are removing the key from the mouth, be sure not to pull back towards the front of the mouth. That will reverse the turn that you just completed. You may find that talking with your RPE is a little bit tricky. Saying words like 33 or 66 may sound a little funny because where your tongue goes to enunciate those words now has appliance in its place. You may also notice that you are producing extra saliva. This is because when we put something in your mouth, our body thinks that it's food and it creates saliva in order for us to swallow or digest. In a few hours, maybe even a day or so, your body will realize that this RPE is not food and the extra saliva will stop. After eating, you will need to rinse with water to get rid of the food that's stuck in the space in between the expander and the roof of your mouth. Be sure to brush three times per day, in the morning, after lunch, or when you get home from school, and then before bed. Use your toothbrush to brush your appliance as well as your teeth. If the RPE looks dull or fuzzy, then it is not clean. It should always look silver and shiny. You may need the help of a sulka brush to get along the roof of your mouth clean. 